Hi guys, today we're making a wire flower in a pot. Very simple, very easy, and super fun. Moving right along, we'll go into step one, abstract art. This is gonna get cut up, so don't make it perfect. Make it fun, make it creative, and use whatever colors you'd like. I always like to start out by adding a base color. You can choose whatever color you'd like. For me, I'm using metallic red. Feel free to switch out any tools or brushes you'd like. Make it creative, make it your own. Make sure you dry the paint before putting a second color on because we don't want it to turn into mud. Next, we add a secondary color it's going to make it look less boring and more creative and more fun. I am using just plain black for this part. Again, we are going to dry the paint just to make sure there's no excess wet spots and to get ready for the third color. Now I am adding another color to my abstract painting. You can add as many colors as you'd like. I'm just sticking with three. If any of you were wondering, the colors I used were metallic red, black, and white paint. Now we are moving right along to step two, the wire flower. Things you might need are wire and pliers. If you don't have pliers, that's okay. The wire should be about 24 inches long. The longer the wire, the bigger the flower, the shorter the wire, the smaller the flower. As you see here, we're making our first loop. Make sure that there's a little piece that's about like one inch, maybe a little more hanging out just so you can wrap it around. After this, just keep making your loops. The more loops, the more flower petals you are going to have. Make sure you, when you wrap them, they are nice and tight so they can hold their shape. Next, we are going to take our pliers and you're going to squish the middle, make sure it's nice and flat. Doing this will make your middle tighter and flatter and easier to put the center on. Step three, creating the petals. You're gonna need your abstract art nice and dry, the wire flower, scissors, glue, 
an old brush and gloves if you don't want your hands to get very messy. Now we are going to measure our flower on the paper. The amount of petals we have is the amount of paper strips I have. I made five petals, so I need at least five paper strips. Make an extra one if you'd like, but you don't have to. Now you're going to pick your favorite pieces. I chose the ones in the middles, but you can choose any of the ones you'd like. And we're gonna get started on our first petal. We are gonna start on our first flower petal and you're just gonna measure which way you want the petal to be. Add your glue, the more the merrier. The more glue, it will stick more. Then you're just gonna wrap your flower petal in this paper. Push and hold and then cut it off. Cut off any of the excess and we will do more precise cutting later on. Now you just do the same thing to the rest of the petals. I have four more petals to do, so I will need at least four more pieces of paper. You can reuse your paper if you'd like. After all your petals are glued on, let air dry or use a hair dryer to let it dry. It might take a little while. After your petals are dry, we can move on to step four, cutting the petals more precisely. You're gonna need your wire flower and a little pair of scissors to get the precise and neat cut. Now we're just gonna be cutting around the wire. Make sure you leave a little bit of space so the wire doesn't show. Just make sure it is cut, it looks neat. If it, you have rough edges, just go ahead and cut it again. Would you look at that? We're already on step five. You're gonna paint your vase. You're gonna need a little vase for your flower, paint, a paintbrush, a tray for the paint, and a towel. It doesn't matter what kind of vase you made, just make sure it will fit your flower. Now all you're gonna do is paint the vase. You can paint it any color you'd like, make sure it's a nice clean coat, and if you want to, go over it multiple times, I only went over it once. Once you finished your first coat, add any finishing touches and make sure all your spots are covered. Moving right along, we will be on step six adding the center to your flower. You'll need your wire flower, E6000 or strong glue, tweezers, and something to put in the center.
when you take your glue, make sure you go really heavy on it because you want it to stick to your flower. After you get it in the spot you'd like it in, make sure you press and hold for a while. This will just make it stay and then it can dry nice and neat. Moving on to step seven, assembling your flower in the vase. Things you'll need, your flower, your vase, a chopstick, tweezers, and cotton balls. We are going to measure how tall you want your flower to be. Make sure you make a bend at the end of the base. Then you're going to make it into a little circle to act as a stand at the bottom of the base. After your flower's nice and neat in there, start stuffing your cotton balls in the vase. This is going to make it more sturdy and the flower will stay in place. The more cotton balls, the more sturdy. I'm using a chopstick so I can push it down and make it really sturdy. After all your cotton balls are jammed in there, use your tweezers to fluff up the cotton balls. It should look like a big fluffy cloud when you're done with it. You can use pieces from extra cotton balls, make sure it's very big, fluffy, and beautiful. And that's it, you're done. You can take some very cute photos with this, make another one, make it different, make it you. It makes perfect gifts for teachers, family, friends, students, anybody really. Hope you had a great day and enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching!